Hello and uh, welcome to my Skillshare video. Um, you'll probably be seeing a lot of my two cats because they don't know how to leave me alone. Where we put our hair back, I still have my makeup on from the day, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to do realistic face tattoos. Stop chewing my paper, please. Is that no? Okay, so I went to the bathroom, I got myself a warm damp cloth, and I wet my sponge. I like these, uh, this is my preference, versus the little, like, rectangular ones that came with a bed nugget. Sponge is a sponge, who cares? Um, but just for clarity, I'm gonna take off my makeup real quick. So guys, that's the video. Um, it's a unique tattoo, I guess. Are you teaching the video now? Yeah. Astringent. Cotton pad. Skin. My music style. Important stuff will stick if you have a base, so I'm just gonna put on like my normal concealer and put powder on it before we start doodling. Um. My music stopped again. Can I have nice things? The tabby behind me is Angel, and the black cat you'll see is red. My music stopped a third time. Why? It just stopped again. Why can't I play music? If, if y'all watch this video and you see orbs flying around my room, please tell me. Because I've been wanting to move. Okay, so I do like a little primer moment. Anywhere I think that I'm going to put my tattoo. I'm going to try a couple different... I'm going to try a couple different styles. Um, so like simple line tattoos, of course. Um, and then I found a watercolor image I want to try, because I have a lot of eyeshadow colors. Um, I guess you could hypothetically, like if you had like watercolor face paints, um, but I, I only have the Ben Nye right now aside from powder eyeshadow. Um, and I just personally like working with powder better unless I'm like physically painting. It's personal preference. Um, but anyways, I'm going to put my concealer on. You can, you know how to do that. I'm not contouring at all. I'm just, uh, there's a lot coming out, huh? That looks kind of funny. I'm just doing, I mean, you could use this if you want, but because I'm going to put powder over it, the Ben Nye is going to be too greasy, and I, you want like a matte surface for the tattoos to go on. Hello, Red. <laughs> the way he just looked at me, he said... So now the exposure is going to be too great, and you're not going to be able to see me on the camera. That's, that's fine, I guess. It's, um, I'm, oh, this is a bit of a gout moment. Because I'm widening my forehead. It's in my eye. It's in my eye, I don't know what's in my eye. Ow. <laughs> I guess I'm fine. Like I was saying, oh, the exposure, please. The um, easiest ones to do are gonna be the simple black line. Um, it will be best. Some 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 videos on like doing tattoos with makeup will say that you can use a stencil, which I guess you can, but I have more fun freehanding stuff. So, just for fun, I'm gonna try the watercolor one first. I like to use research images. I'm acting like I've really done this before. I kind of haven't. Okay. 
Um, I will say it's probably a good idea to use your little mirror and like use a thin brown pencil to trace the general shape. None of my pencils are sharp right now, so just go ahead and sharpen them. And sharpen them. Sharpen them. Sharpen them. So watercolor, I've noticed like it, it, it's a lot to do with like the concentration of the pigment as it like kind of fades into your skin um, in placement of like the darkest points. So I am using two different types of brushes to kind of achieve that look and we'll see how it goes. Another technique that Kyla did for, what was it, for the uh, blood and guts makeup when we did the black eyes was to put white paint under the yellow or the, any of the lighter colors to make those lighter colors brighter on the skin. You could do this if you wanted here, but because it's going to be a more realistic tattoo, the, your like natural skin color is going to kind of like, you know, overshadow it. So because none of us is a perfectly white canvas. This brand is like one of my favorites because these palettes are all so cheap. Like this one's probably like $15 and the pans are huge and they're deep and they're super pigmented. You wouldn't typically have. Okay, I got a ghost in here. Are you kidding me? Put that back. I'm a perfectionist with it. Of course, I always do. And it's just going to take a minute. I'm telling you right now. It's going to take a minute. Is that kind of a, in focus? Like, it's hard to see. I'll like post a nicer picture. It comes Once you have finished your black line as much as you would like to work on it and spend time on it, then you're going to set it with powder. I didn't put more powder on I just used the residual powder that was left. It works to soften the harsh black color and make it look more like it's been on your skin for a while. So, I don't know if I like this. We're going to keep going now. The lesson here is you can always start over. Oh, you know what? I can turn this into one of the other ones I had. You know those blackout tattoos where it's just like a large part of the face that's just entirely uh, black paint? Um, improvise a shape. Letting it start right where my eye bag kind of ends. Which, yes, that is how large my eye bags are. I want to take a little shape. Just a Oh yeah, I have this too, obviously. I'm gonna take one of the I'm gonna use this black liner that's in the cream contour wheel. And I'm gonna fill it in. Um... Sometimes these blackout tattoos will have like these lines. Just kind of like encircling the, the shape. Oh, it kind of looks like I'm a doll. Right? It's a crack in my face. That's cool. I'm gonna go with that. Straight up came with a little star pendant on it. That's pretty cool. I kind of just usually you would want the tattoo to like frame your face, whereas smaller things like these or like smiley faces or words can kind of be kind of fit in the gaps. Uh, it just depends on 
you're the character you're doing that has the tattoo. I'm just kind of putting them anywhere because they're not real. So it's looking a little rough. But I'll just keep going because it's bedtime. I used to do henna tattoos and airbrush tattoos when I worked with Theme Park. And embellishment made everything better. The amount of work it cut down was kind of crazy. Like if you just messed up a little area, you can just do a little swirl and it fixes everything. I just think in general that eyeshadow makes it, eyeshadow makes everything look a little more eye catching, and because it's and because it has the softer texture or softer uh, effect, then you can kind of hide any mistakes and using blending. I just think it's really cool. Please don't. Please stay over there. Thank you. Please, please stay. Yes. Color tattoos, yay, we're touching all the bases. This is the closest you're going to get to me trying to write a word on my face, because it never ends well for me. <laughs> well, this last one is just a little special, okay? That's the... These two are more twins, or these two are sisters, and this is their cousin. <laughs> Sure. Let's just go with that. And then And I do homemade tattoos in the back. No training. I just did it. I don't know. Them's are hard to go to school for. They're just not on my level. <laughs> 